Good morning everybody, it's Gina, welcome back. Um, today I'd like to share a new project with you guys. I recently joined Lynette over at Cheaply Chic's design team and I have received my first design team package so I thought we would um, go through the contents of this and uh, from it, you know, let you see what, what's coming in the kit and then we will go into the design team project. So I'm probably going to break this up into a, a few parts because it, um, it's a journaling process, but let's get started with what uh, what uh, Lynette has designed. Um, for the month of July she has uh, designed this kit which she's calling Abide and it features a lot of the uh, succulents so it's some really soft um, pastel greens and then she's got a bit of the peach which is beautiful so yeah I'm really excited about this and the, and this is a very different um, sort of project for me because this is going to be a focus on journaling uh, spreads so I'm super excited about this because I've been wanting to push myself in that direction so this was a, a great um, project for me because you know it's getting away from designing the journal because she's she's furnished a, a journal already for us which is wonderful it's so exciting to see somebody else's uh, journal in your hands so we'll start with the journal <clears throat> this is abide and you can see the papers are succulents and then she's got a lot of trims she's put in here a lot of stitching I love the beads uh, and I think the contrast of the peach with that is just beautiful. It's very, very pretty. It's a traveler's notebook size, so that's great for me. Um, and as you can see, when you go inside, um, she's she's left it blank for the kit, you know, so we can work work together um, throughout the month on these projects. And I, I I look at that paper. I love that. I must have to give that a try. Uh, with the coffee dyeing or tea dyeing. So this is the journal that I will be working in. And as I said, this is, um, I'm really looking forward to this because this is um, not a strong area for me. Oh, I like that page with the shrubs, the old vintage shrub page. Um, so this is going to be, you know, a really uh, interesting project because I have dabbled in it but like I said I haven't fully committed and this uh, really is going to force me to to start spending some time and developing those journaling skills because I think journaling is so very important I mean you know I love creating journals but I think getting our memories down in a place um, and even if they don't seem like you know big moments in our life it's the day-to-day -day, I think is so important to remember and then within the kit she's provided some oh, I love these little glassine bags so a few um, paper clips those will be very handy We've got, oh, I love that big one. I've not seen the large gold paper clips. Those are beautiful. Love these fibers. So you get lots of, uh, oh, that is beautiful eyelash trim. Ooh, I love that, Lynette. Gorgeous. So we've got that to play with. And this is beautiful. Because you guys know I'm not... Um, very skilled in my jewelry make. Oh, I love that. How sweet are those? Okay, so we've got that. Sit these over to the side here. Here we've got some, uh, oh, look at that sticker. That's adorable. All sorts of things in here. Little tickets and labels. Oh, thank you, Lynette. This is so sweet. It's really nice to have um, 
somebody choose some items for you to work with because, um, you know, we tend to get um, very comfortable in our own style. And it, oh, I love that. That's beautiful, the little succulent. Uh, and then she's got a couple of little charms there, the feather charms. Those are just so sweet. So this is kind of exciting for somebody to choose it for you. And uh, jump in and see what you can create. Some labels. You can always use labels. <clears throat> and then in this bag, this is beautiful. I love that. That coordinates really nice. Okay, so in here we've got a tea dyed um, index card. Oh, I love this. Library card. That's beautiful. She, oh, she's done some stamping. How sweet. Oh, that's a very different type of um, tag. I've not seen one like that before. Oh, that's very nice. You get a guest check. I love these little shipping, shipping tags. Oh, this is a nice one as well. Hmm. Oh, I'll have to find out where she's got all these beautiful tags from. This is nice. I love that paper. Oh, I've been wanting one of these tiny CD cases. I'm going to have to try to source some of those. Those are so cute. And look at this. That is a beautiful napkin. So she's given us all of this to work with. How nice. Oh, I can't wait to start playing with that. That is beautiful. And this is another big shipping tag. And some little tickets. Those are cute. I love that collar. Very unusual collar. So we got a bit more in here, too. Oh, and a playing card. Oh, look at that. With the little cactus. That is adorable. And, oh, look at those little charms. How sweet. Oh, I love those. Yes, it takes a lot of time um, to put these kits together, ladies, because there's, you know, you don't go to one place and find it all. So thank you, Lynette, for taking the time to put these together for us. And this is gorgeous. Oh, I would so love to have a notepad like that. Beautiful. That's very pretty. This must be some of her designer paper. And that's a beautiful one. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Oh, and look, she's even got a coloring page with the succulents. How sweet. Huh. And then you've got um, a page on, it looks like the different cacti. And then some more vintage book pages. Oh, this is going to be really fun to work with. And, and then another uh, sheet, a uh, vintage music sheet. So you can see it's, it's a very big kit that you can get. And I will put the link below if you're interested in joining on this um, With this journaling process, you can get these kits in uh, Lynette's shop, so I will put all the links below. So this is going to be really, really fun. So I am going to clear my space and be back, and we're going we're gonna to do our journaling, so join me. Okay, guys, welcome back. We are going to do our project. Sorry, I'm having my coffee still, and uh, I'm having to be a bit quieter today because my son's asleep in the room <laughs> next door, so I'm, I'm going to try to do this without disturbing him. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start here on this page, and we will, we will go through this together. Um, so... I know I'm going to want to do like a pocket, but I think it would be nice to get something kind of on the back 
the back of this. So I've got a stencil, um, and I don't, <clears throat> it was from Hobby Lobby, but I don't recall the brand. And then I've got some of the Wild Honey um, Distress Oxide. And I'm just going to do a bit of stenciling. I think this is the side. I just think it would be nice to have a little bit of um, design on the back there. Oh, that's pretty. I do love this color. Uh, and I have been tossing around in my mind to, um, to get a few other colors that I think I would work with. And not, not necessarily by the whole kit, but uh, oh, I love that. So, I like that because that's given that just a little bit. In fact, I might even extend it over to this for just, just a little bit on the edge. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet, but I may end up completely covering it. I don't know, but I think I'm going to put it down there just, just to be <clears throat> in case it does show. I think that would look nice. Yeah, it's, as I said, with the journaling... Um, Because it's so new to me, it's, um, you know, you're a little bit uncomfortable because you haven't thought out, or I haven't, I haven't thought out what I want the spread look, to look like. So this, this is, you know, a little bit different than I normally do because with my journals I tend to plan them for days, maybe even weeks before I start, and I already have an idea, but this is just completely, I'm here, I'm just going to go with it, so, okay, so what I think I'm going to do now is I'd really like to have something, I'm actually thinking, I would like to have a little bit of the, um, this page, I think I really want <coughs> to kind of just put pieces of this in along here and then build my pocket is what I, that's my thinking on that um, okay so I think what I'll do is just start tearing it I don't want to cover up all of that, so I think I'm just going to have that kind of along there. So, let me get my glue stick, and Okay, so I'm just going to get this down because I like the idea of, of a bit of that showing through. Now, I think I'm going to take one of the book pages and make a pocket and then start to build some layers there. So, okay, so I think I will take this one. I 
got to make sure I don't make the um, pocket because I still want to see some of the succulents. So I think that's as wide as I want to go with that. What I'm going to do is cut this down. And then I'm going to go to the, um, the machine. And I'm going to run a stitch down here, and I'm also going to have that flipped up, so we're going to have a double pocket to put on this page. Yeah, I think I'm going to have it like that, and that way I can have a double pocket for our tag. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to go to the machine and just run a stitch down here. So I will be right. Okay, guys, I ran a stitch. I folded this over because I like I really like my pockets to have a nice finished uh, edge and then I ran a stitch down here so that's where we're at now I like the idea of just taking a bit of this beautiful napkin she's provided and doing a bit of um, decoupage across here just to pull that um, And I actually even, I kind of, I don't know if I can fit. I'm going to try to get a bit of this in as well. Because I kind of like the, um, the design of this. So I'm going to give that a try and see if I can get all of this. We won't need very much. I'm hoping this is going to work. I should have taken those layers off first, but. Pull this apart. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there we go. Let me get these the back layers off here. I think that's everything. All right, so get my little. I love this stuff. I have uh, recently found this, and I gotta say, it's really changed my view on uh, decoupage. What a difference that has made um, using that over the Mod Podge. Now I still use Mod Podge on large projects. Um, just, you know, because I've still got quite a lot that I'm using up, but I will be using that going forward. It is just so much nicer to work with. And it seems to go on much smoother than uh, Mod Podge. And uh, it doesn't dry as quick. That's the problem I have with the Mod Podge is it dries before I can um, get everything down. And I just end up having to use so much of it. But I absolutely love this product. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so... We've got that down. Now I'm just going to have to let that sit over and dry. But I really like how that's come out. Now, while I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and and uh, decoupage a tag. Let me make sure this tag's going to fit in there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of stenciling in the back, I think. I just, I like... Um, the added interest that the stenciling gives. Okay, happy with that. And then we will just do a little bit of, um, we'll take a bit more of this and put on. So I've got that left over, so let me see how I want to do this one.
These are such pretty napkins. I love the colors in that. Actually, I'm going to stencil a bit more. Um, I don't know why. I'm, I always tend to um, decorate the left for some reason. And that uh, is now going to be covered with that. So that was a boo-boo. But that's okay. We can go ahead and stencil over here. Because that's going to pretty much get covered up, that one. get this on now and this a little bit of the stencil will show through there so So I hope everybody's having a um, good week this week. Um, we have um, I just picked a, my son up on Sunday, and of course he's so jet lagged. But we managed to um, to visit. They have uh, Europe's largest medieval festival here every year. And I took him to that because he really is into, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So we swung by there on the way back from the airport, and uh, he he was doing good until we got in the, you know, we left the festival. We were only at the festival a couple hours, and then we started, you know, the drive to the house, which is about another 30 minutes. And boy, he was feeling it so. By the time we got to the house, he was pretty wrecked, but yesterday we just took it as a, you know, a day to let him rest up. Okay, I'm going to sit that to the side, but that you can see how that's looking. So I want to sit that over to the side, and then I'll come back and just clean up that edge. Um, and this one should be dry now, so we can get that put into um, the journal. So... Um, yeah, we just took, and you guys will be happy to see, I got my tip, yay! <laughs> uh, I've still got to make one of the dangles. Um, so yesterday we just treated it as kind of a hangout here day, and I cooked a big, well, not me, me and my husband together cooked a, a big roast dinner for him. We did a pork roast, cracklin, Yorkshire pudding, green beans, roasted potatoes, applesauce, gravy. And uh, it was very, very nice. But I will say, yesterday was one of our warmer days and the oven being on all day. By last night it was pretty hot in the house, but... I still enjoyed it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and commit to this pocket going there. And I like how that's coming out because i um, got, let me put just a little bit of glue. Down there. That tip, for anybody, that that is definitely what that glue needed. So I'm very, very happy for the encouragement to go ahead and invest in that. What difference that's made. 
Okay, so thinking over here, what, 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 what to do? Um, I've got my pocket. I've got one of the tags done. As soon as that's dry, I'll probably put some of the fibers on that. I'm really loving those fibers. And then in here, I kind of, let's see, what do we got? We've got lots to play with. I don't want another pocket. I know that. Um, oh, that's very pretty. Hmm, I kind of like the idea of that just hanging off the tag, the page slightly. Because that wouldn't interfere with closing it. I like that. I think I'm going to I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I like the idea of doing that. Let me just think if I want to put anything else on the background here. I think I'm going to put a little bit of the music sheet. I like the idea of just a bit of this. because I don't want to cover up that date. I really like that. I think that looks really nice. So I'm just going to put this down because I want to have plenty of room um, to come back and uh, I'm going to write about this month in here. So I don't want to use up all the, the room. I want to leave a bit of space. So I like that. And then I'm going to have that <coughs> off of the page with a tuck spot there so that I can tuck. My thinking is I'm actually going to just fold this up into thirds and then I can write on this about this challenge and I'm going to have that tucked under there I think. I like that. So I'll just make this as a little tuck spot here. And then I can um, you know maybe date it I've got the writing I can do on the back of this tag, <clears throat> and then I'm going to have that tucked under there, <clears throat> and I can write on that sheet front and back, so that's going to be really, really nice, particularly for this next week, because I'm going to have a lot of things I want to uh, remember, I think. So here, let me go ahead and get this trimmed off. I love this. Uh, this eyelash trim is beautiful. That color is what uh, I'm crazy over that. See, I would never normally have chosen this, but it's this is why I like <clears throat> the fact that she's chosen this for, because I wouldn't have chosen that, but now I really want to get some of that in my stash because that is a beautiful shade. So there is the tag complete and you can see how simple that was. It was taking some of the napkin, just did a bit of stenciling, then decoupage that and then added some of the fiber that's, that comes in the kit and that tag is ready to go in the pocket. So I like, I'm really pleased with how that's come out.
Yeah, okay, so we've got these tags. And then once that's adhered, Yeah, I'm really happy with this because I didn't want to tear that page up. I think that's going to be a really nice page. Um, oh, I've not folded that small enough. Okay, let me, let me refold this so I can get this to slide up in there. I feel like there's anything else I want to add to that. Oops, got the charms, but I think I'm going to keep those for another page. I will put a little bit of fiber there. Actually, I might. Let me see if that would. Yeah, I'm just going to tie this here, I think. Okay. Well, there it is, guys. There is what I've done with the kit. Um, and I, like I said, for me, because I'm going to come back and just, this gives me a journaling space here. I've got the whole um, notebook, front and back, that I can write about what I've done. And I'm thinking, for me, I'm going to do this by week um, in this well, maybe a couple of days of what's happening because I've got quite a bit of writing space there. And then I've got all of this I can write on as well, which is really good. And this formed two pockets. So if I want to come back and add a smaller tag in the back, I've got the room that I've, I can have two uh, pockets within that. And then I've got this pocket here. So... I'm really happy with that, and then these, I can even do a bit more journaling on the back of those as well. So you can see um, the paper I used, the um, sheet of paper, one of the sheets here made that, and then I decoupaged with the napkin, and then a bit more of the music sheet that Lynette's provided. So there's quite a bit of elements used, but I've still got plenty for the rest of the journal. Now the other thing I will do is come back. I'm going to add my little library pocket. Let me go ahead and do that. Because that is going to go there. Let me go ahead and get that on there because I really I love that. We don't get these. It's very difficult to find this stuff. but. Actually, you know what? I'm going to decoupage that quickly. I'm going to put a bit of this napkin because I love this so much. Let me put a bit of this on there. And then I will add the... Um, I'll add that. Uh, library pocket then because I really wanted this pink from that flower that is absolutely gorgeous you can see I'm getting through this napkin I am crazy about that so I'll take a bit more of this off because I definitely want that pink See that that's gonna work now, so I'm 
This is such a summery kit. I love it. Okay, just a little bit more of our collage podge. Yeah, I really like this because you don't have to use nearly as much of this as you do that Mod Podge. Ooh. And I don't feel like this wrinkles as badly. So yeah, I spent some time the other day and just did a whole big assortment of um, napkins on um, envelopes. Um, I just got everything out because I didn't want to start another project just before um, Jared came. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and uh, just do some small things as I was telling you guys. Um, that way I, you can just kind of do it and walk away because I'd cleaned my studio and I thought, oh, I'm not going to, I've got to be careful or I'll end up with another big mess. So that's how I spent uh, one afternoon because I was just, you know, you kind of, ev everything's done and you're just waiting. So I thought, well, I may as well do some of these things I've been putting off. So that was a good good use of time there. But they're not completed. I've just I've decoupaged them, but now I need to go back and you know, work on finish them out. But I thought, well, at least it's a start and then as I'm making journals, I can decide how to finish them off, you know. So anyways, that's going to need to dry. I'm just give it a a bit more just to use that up. And this, the other thing I like about this over the Mod Podge is even though the Mod Podge is a matte finish, it still to me always has a bit of a gloss. And this is a much, uh, it's not as glossy, it's more of a matte than the uh, Mod Podge. So, okay, so that is going to need to dry, and then I can add the library card and that will be done so that's going to be really then I can come back and add I might come back and add one of these labels kind of thinking yeah let me just hit that with a little bit of heat I'll be right back okay I have dried that now with a bit of heat so you can see how that's come out isn't that beautiful Oh, gosh, yeah, I do love that napkin. So now I'm just going to put uh, my little library card here. In fact, I'll put it over here a little bit so it doesn't cover. Yeah, I like that. That's adhered really well. Okay, guys, so there is the front and I'll as I work through this I'll be filling that page but here is what we've completed I love that tag I'm really happy with how that's come out so what I'm hoping this is just you know hopefully this has inspired you to to, to try these to try having a go at um, journaling and 
you know, together we'll learn, and I'm sure, like anything, with practice, it's going to all, you know, we'll get better at to add it. But I'm, I've really enjoyed this today. Like I said, this was totally out of my comfort zone, but I'm so grateful for um, Le giving me the opportunity to work with her. She's got beautiful um, designs, and it's so nice to get a... Um, journal from somebody else and you can see their work and it is beautiful. The colors and everything are just so summery which is awesome. Um, so it's a great way for you to to document what you're doing and I hope you guys will give it a try. I'll put all the information below. I'm going to list the other design team members uh, within the description box. If you're new to the um, YouTube and you don't know what I'm referring to, there's an arrow below the video that you hit and that will expand the box so that you can see all of the links to where you can receive this journal, um, the kit that's included. Um, the, all of it's available in uh, Cheaply Chic Shop on Etsy. And as I said, do check out the other uh, design team members because they everybody's going to be doing something very different. We're all different. So um, check them out and, and they'll have many other ways that you can use this kit. So I appreciate it guys. I will um, be back later with a Create With Me but um, I'm not going to be on, on here too much because I've got a lot of plans with my son. So you guys have a great um, rest of the week and I'll see you here soon. Bye!